Here in the last couple of weeks, I've really been putting in a lot of work on my dot .files. I've probably spent dozens of hours in the last two weeks, I'm not even kidding, working on my dot .files, my config files, especially for Xmonad and for Emacs. And really I'm doing this in preparation for something that I've put off for a long time. You guys have been asking for DT's OS. Now I'm not going to create my own operating system, obviously. I don't even want to maintain my own Linux distribution, but what I will do is I will create some kind of deployment script. What it'll be is it will be, for those of you that run Arch Linux or an Arch Linux based distribution, it'll be a post installation script that when you deploy this script, it will give you DT's Xmonad with Emacs desktop environment. Now one of the major components to this desktop environment will be some scripts that I have created. Uh, you guys have probably seen my shell color scripts. It's when I open a terminal, I get a random ASCII color script here in the terminal. You see, I've got uh, about 50 or 60 different of these color scripts packaged up, and I have it set in my config file for my shells in both Bash, ZSH, and in Fish, it doesn't matter which shell I'm in, I get a random color script that loads. Now I wanted to clean this program up a little bit more, so what I recently did is I made a man page for the shell color scripts because it really, there was no documentation to really tell you guys how to use shell color scripts unless you went over to my GitLab. By the way, my GitLab is where you'll find all of my dot files, my wallpapers, the shell color script source code, the DM script source code. You'll find all of that over at gitlab.com slash dwt1. But what I wanted to do was make a man page for shell color scripts and I eventually I need to make a man page for DM scripts which is my daemon use scripts. I really don't know Groff or Troth which is the language that you actually write man pages in. It's a weird kind of syntax that unless Unless you need to work with trough for some reason, nobody knows trough. I was like, well, can't I just write my man page in org mode in Emacs? And yes, you can. If I do a recent search here for man, let me show you man.org here. And this is for my shell color scripts. And this is just an org document. But with the org export dispatch utility, you can actually choose to export org mode to the man page format trough and it, that's really nice i've shown you guys how to convert uh, org documents over to html before but the fact that you can convert org to man pages really means there's no longer an excuse not to write a man page if it's the weird syntax of groff that's a problem for you just write it in org mode especially if you're already an emacs user you probably know how to use org mode so all I had to do after writing the man page in org, I needed to launch the org export dispatch tool. And I have that key binded to space ME. And the export dispatch tool opens in this split. And you can see if I type M on the keyboard, it exports to man. And then if you want man as a file, type M a second time. And that's all I did. And it converted this uh, colorscript.org document over to colorscript.man. Let me close out Emacs and let me get back into the terminal and show you what the man page now for color script actually looks like. This is what it looks like as converted to trough the man page format. And then once it was converted to the man page format, of course, I packaged it up along with the rest of the shell color script stuff, you know, the license and the readme and all of that. So now when you install shell color scripts from the AUR, and for those of you that want to install it from the AUR, all you need to do is if you're using something like yay, yay dash capital S shell dash color dash scripts is the name of the program. If you were using Paru, you would just Paru dash S shell color scripts. And if I hit enter right now, it gives me the latest version number. Sure. Let's go ahead and reinstall. It doesn't hurt to reinstall. And it's going to ask for a root password, of course, to complete the installation. And then once you have completed the installation, to actually use show color scripts, you could type color script with no other arguments. And it's going to say, hey, here's the description and here are the flags for color script. But now we have the man page as well, which will also give you that information. 
and the man page for color script, I've also added some helpful examples. So you can see color script followed by the word random gets you a random color script. That's all you need to do in your bash RC or your ZSHRC or your config for fish. And you go to the very last line of your shells config and add color script space random. And that's all you need to do. Now, if you wanted to launch a specific color script every single time, you would run that with color script space dash E for execute and then the name of the color script. How do you get the name of the color script? Well, you could do color script dash L. So if I get a new terminal here and do color script dash L, we get a listing of the names of all the shell color scripts. So that's shell color scripts, you know, again, just a really kind of nifty feature. It, does it serve a purpose of any kind? Not really. For me, it kind of serves a purpose because I do so much as far as demonstrations with tiling window managers and specifically when I'm demonstrating layouts, typically just for ease of use, I'll open up a bunch of terminals. And it's really nice when every terminal has a different shell color script running on it. It makes like when you're moving windows through the stack, it makes it easy to see. Plus, in my opinion, it just looks good, right? That's, you know, I, I, I I guess I've been influenced a little bit by the R slash Unix porn guys. The next big thing I want to let you guys know is that other than shell color scripts being in the AUR, my DM scripts, my D menu scripts, they are also packaged in the AUR. And uh, if, for those of you not on Arch or don't want to use the AUR, you can go grab the source for my DM scripts in my DM scripts repository. And this repository has been very active. I've had several people actually uh, make commits and, you know, do merge requests over on my GitLab. And we have really fleshed out some of these scripts to where we've got some really interesting stuff going on with some of these scripts. Now, when you install DM scripts from the AUR, um, it's very easy, much like the last one we did with shell color scripts. Yay, dash capital S. And this time the package is called DM scripts dash get. Now I don't have yay installed. My AUR helper of course is paru so I would do paru dash capital S dm scripts dash get. And let's go ahead and reinstall because it doesn't hurt. And just to verify that this actually installs correctly because it's only been packaged in the AUR for the last couple of days but it did install correctly. Now I have several different binaries that we could run that launches various D menu scripts. And, and one of them, let's show you DM logout, since it was already about to auto complete here in the fish shell. We have a D menu script for logging out. So I can lock the screen, log out, I can reboot the system, shut down, suspend, quit, whatever it is I wanted to do. Another interesting one that I use all the time is DM conf, which lists a bunch of my config files that I could edit. You know, I click one and it'll open it up in my editor of choice, which is Emacs. The neat thing about this particular script is it was kind of written in such a way that if these config files don't exist on your system, you actually won't get them outputted in the list. Uh, uh, still a work in progress. Many of these D menu scripts are still a work in progress. If you guys want to help out with it, then uh, you can always uh, go over to my GitLab and suggest things or just do a merge request. DM search is one of the coolest things because this is a list of, I don't know, 50, 100 different search indices that we could pick from and search. So if I wanted to search, I don't know, let's search the AUR. Let's go down to Arch AUR and I wanted to search for DM scripts and off camera. The browser just opened up in the AUR and it was searching for the package DM scripts, which it found. Now some of the other uh, scripts that are in this repository that you could run. There is dman, which is a man page search prompt. There is dm kill, where you search for a process to kill. There's dm red, which searches radio, which is a Reddit viewer. That's kind of beta software at best, so that's not necessarily ready for prime time, but it is ready if you guys want to try it out. And there's also a decolor scripts, where you can copy one of your uh, 16 colors from your color scheme. Now that I know how to make a man page using org and then exporting the org document over to the man page format, the next thing I need to do is I need to create a man page for the DM scripts 
uh, repository. And maybe I just need to create, I, I don't know, an individual man page for each um, of the binaries that it creates. The DM logout binary, the DM conf binary, I don't know. I may just make one big man page for the entire meta package of the D menu scripts. So just a little bit of the work that I've been doing with shell color scripts and with DM scripts, again, in preparation for what will eventually be a deployment script for my Xmonad slash Emacs desktop, or as I prefer to call it, Xmonad plus Emacs. Uh, for those of you that are interested in some of the other stuff I have packaged in the AUR, because I haven't mentioned many of these uh, programs in a while, other than shell color script, so let me zoom in, because the AUR fonts are really small. Other than shell color scripts and DM scripts, as always, you can go grab my builds of DWM from the AUR, DWM-DistroTube-Get, my build of the DWM blocks as well, DWM blocks-DistroTube-Get. And also ST is in there, my build of D-Menu is in there, which my build of D-Menu you guys have been seeing uh, all along here. So if I did, I don't know, this prompt here for the search prompt again, that's my build of D-Menu with some, some neat little coloring. And, you know, we've got the highlights around the selection we choose. So visually, it really stands out. I've also patched it for centering and grid and, and all kinds of other stuff that are possibilities with my version of D-Menu. So that's just a little bit of what's been taking up some of my time here in the last week or two. I've been doing some spring cleaning. You know, it's April, it's spring, so I've been spring cleaning a little bit. I've been cleaning up some of my dot files and some of my AUR packages. And it seems like this is the one time a year where I do this because I did the same thing last year. I, I did some spring cleaning for my AUR packages, I think last year and the year before. And so many times that's also when I decide to take care of some of my window manager configuration Figs that maybe I haven't logged into for a while. I log into and then I see, oh, some things have changed. These configs are broken a little bit and then I take the time to actually fix them. Obviously, it would make much more sense to try to keep up on all of this work throughout the year instead of once a year, you know, spending two weeks uh, trying to fix all of your config files. But what can I say? I'm a procrastinator. Now, before I go, I need to thank a few special people. I need to thank the producers of this episode. Epsy Dell Escape, Lou Mitchell, Alan Kami, Arch Feet Number 30, Chuck David, The Other David, Dylan Gregory, Lewis, Paul Scott. Uh, Polytech is also in there. Steven West, Willie, uh, adding a new name completely threw me off. I was on a roll. I thought I was going to break my speed record. But yeah, I, I want to thank all these guys. These are all my uh, highest tiered patrons over on Patreon. Without these guys, this episode you just watched would not have been possible. The show is also brought to you by each and every one of these ladies and gentlemen as well. I'm talking about Adam AJ. Uh, there's no way I'm reading that list. I never make it. I die trying to read that list, but I, I'm very happy happy to have so many great patrons that help support my work over on Patreon. If you guys would like to support my work, look for DistroTube over on Patreon. All right, guys. Peace. I think it's time to switch to decaf.